you need to stop doing this and start doing this. Hey guys, I'm Greg with Quantum Machinery Group and today we're going to be looking over and installing one of our grounding connections for the Sigmund line of welding tables. Now this is awesome because it's going to work for a System 16, a System 22, or a System 28, whether you have the metric or imperial table. So what this is going to do is ensure that you have the proper grounding connection from your welder to your Sigmund welding table when welding on top of the table. Now we will say the best option is clamping directly to the material that you're welding, but sometimes you're not able to do that. And also if you're welding thin material, you're definitely gonna wanna clamp to the material. But when you're welding something like a big skid steer bucket or a piece of equipment up on the Sigmund weld table, this is gonna be your best solution. Another great thing that this offers is your hot swappable from table to table. So you can buy one of these per table and have your welders all set up for them. So any welder from a TIG, a MIG, or even a plasma cutter can quickly hook up to the table without having to use any tools. So this is completely made out of bronze. So it's going to be durable. It's going to make great connections. It does come with a little boot that's going to cover the connection point. And this will work for all type size wires for any type of welder or plasma cutter. One nice thing is it has this stepped bolt, and this is what is gonna allow you to use it on any other table. It has a step for each size table, the System 28, System 22, as well as the 16. Now we're gonna use this stop right here as an example because it's hard to see up under the table, but if we, we was put it from the top down, Once installed, you can see it's completely flush. So you can install this from the outside or the inside of the table, depending on how you want your setup. Now, if you do ins install it on the outside of your table, you're gonna be able to quickly install it and uninstall it very fast. Where on the inside of the table, it's gonna be out of the way and not cause a tripping hazard or running into it with machinery. We will be showing you what it looks like installed on the table the proper way. We're just using these stops as a demonstration to bring it up close and personal. So this is what's gonna come in the packaging for the grounding connection. It's very simple to use. We're gonna put this boot on in just a little bit. First, we're gonna thread out this step bolt. We can install it on either side of the table. Then we're gonna simply thread this on. And of course you would wanna use a wrench on this and really tighten it down. You can use an adjustable on the nut, then you can use the included six millimeter hex that comes with the Sigma 28 tables to tighten down the flush mount bolt. You can see here we have two six millimeter hex screws. These are set screws that's gonna bite into the copper lead from the welder. Now this does include an insert copper piece and this is gonna help on that softer wire to crush and make a good connection inside of the brass. So we've quickly installed the grounding connection up in this stop in this orientation so you guys can just see what we're doing. But when you get ready to install your ground cable from your welder, we're first going to slide on this boot. And then we're going to want to make sure that we've stripped about an inch to an inch and a quarter of wire. So we have that exposed to slide into the grounding connection. And just tighten up the two set screws and that's going to crush that copper insert. Okay, once you have those set screws tightened down, now you can slide on this sleeve that's gonna protect the connection. Now this does press on very tightly. It does take a little, little bit of muscle to push it on there, but it's meant to be like that so it doesn't quickly slide off when you're connecting and disconnecting the connection. So now we can slide this on. There are two little teeth in here and you line those up with the knurls on each side. So that's it for installing this grounding connection. It only takes a few minutes to set it up and then you can quickly disconnect and connect your welders right to your weld tables without any frustration. This is how quick you can disconnect the welder. So we have a half turn to the left, then we slide it right off and it's that quick. So you could have one of these installed on every one of your weld tables and leads for every welder. Simply slide it back on, line up the notch, give it a half turn lock it down and we have a great connection to our welding table. And again, the biggest reason you would want to use this is if you're welding huge items up on top of the weld table, you're going to want this because it's going to give you the best grounding solution for the table. 
if you're using small fixtures you're going to want to ground directly to those but sometimes this can be very hard and get in the way of your build if you're clamping this onto the table or an accessory this can be a problem so that's why sigmund has came up with this solution so now that we've showed you guys up on the table how to install this and put everything together we're going to show you an example of actually using it on the side of your welding table the best thing about this is you can use it in literally any hole you have available on your weld table i like to try to find a lower hole on the side panels of the table because you're normally not going to be using a lot of accessories in that certain spot so just find a spot that doesn't get used a lot and that's going to be the best place where it's out of the way so the first thing we're gonna do is take our step bolt and we're gonna put it from the inside out so the threads are facing outwards because we want this connection to be on the outside of the table. I'm gonna choose this hole here, slide it in, simply thread this on. And of course, if we was installing this for good, we would take a wrench, we would put our six mil on the inside and we'd really snug it down to our locking so it's got a really tight connection on the table. Now we have the welding lead that we went ahead and installed the quick disconnect on. We just line up that notch, give it a half turn, lock it in. We have our welder set up. So now when we wanna disconnect this, we wanna to move to a different welding table or hook up a different welder or piece of equipment and just give it a half turn, pull it right off. And it's that quick and simple to move on to the next project. This is the best solution for grounding your equipment to a Sigmund weld table.